Happy Friday, November 20th. Welcome to the three things I learned in SaaS Sports Tech and Lab events for the week. Uh, number one, don't hire other companies' bad habits. Uh, Erica Nardini of Barstool caused a stir when she put an SDR on blast by name for a poorly written solicitation email. She then apologized for using the name. I agree with her that putting bad behavior on blast is not necessarily a bad thing as long as we leave the name out. The key outcome is where you learn your craft matters more than many think or believe. It's not the SDR's fault that her company is teaching crappy habits, but it is her fault if she has other options to stay there because it's hurting her development and it's stalling her ability to grow her career. Worse, many SDRs believe others should pay more for that experience, even when it's bad experience. It creates a very bad cycle because the SDR believes they have two years of experience or three years of experience, which the market should value, but many of the hiring firms see fixing two years of bad habits and false confidence as more of a hassle than just a clean canvas. So number one, don't pick up bad habits and don't hire other companies' bad habits. For the week, resilience and passion matters. Be resilient and find something you're passionate about. Here's why. In 2001, I got my first job out of college in July. Two months later, 9-11 hit. Economy collapsed. Everybody hit hard times. Three years later, finally worked my way up to a promotion at AEG working for the LA Kings, and I finally went from making 50000 a year to 90000 a year, except I didn't make 90000 that year. Hockey went on strike. We didn't get paid for 10 months. I think I made $25,000 that year. Uh, 2008, I left StubHub, started this business. I'm sorry, we left in 2007. In 2008, the economic collapse happens. Our investor bails on us. We get left with nothing. We don't get paid for 14 months. And now in 2020, we're seven months into some really hard times for a lot of people. And the good and bad news in all of this is that our generation has it better than most. Uh, look, find the resilient and find the people who are passionate about what you're passionate about because I can assure you, hard times are coming. They might be here right now and they're gonna come again in the future. But if you're resilient and you're around passionate people, there will be success that people will benefit from, especially those people who stuck with us back in 2008. That's number two. And number three, something that gets lost in talent sometimes. My friend who is a multiple time CEO and exit uh, has said this to me many times. You can buy a person's hands, you can buy a person's back, but hearts and minds are only given voluntarily. Uh, right now there's a lot of layoffs, furloughs, pay cuts, you know, that saying has never been more important, especially in the live events industry. We're going to see really quickly who was buying those cultural awards and who was actually winning them. You know, we hear that everybody has a price and that conversation comes up when we're hiring people. And that might be true for most, but that price doesn't apply to someone's absolute best. In today's world, which is very competitive, you need someone's absolute best. Inspired work only comes from the inspired. Paychecks are transactional. Inspiration, community and hope, not so much. That's it for this week. Hopefully we'll see you next week on The Three Things.